So you want to know what a day in the life is like as an exchange student at the National University of Singapore. Close your eyes, our day is about to begin. Good morning, another day at NUS. Rushing for my class, as usual. Today's going to be an ordinary day, nothing special. I'll start off with my normal morning routine. Singapore is hot, so a simple t-shirt and some shorts, and I'm good to go. Ah, thank goodness I don't live on the eighth floor. Although there is an elevator, so it's not too bad for them. I live at Prince George's Park Residence. This is one of the dormitories on the NUS campus, and although being one of the older ones, it's still pretty comfortable and relaxing to stay at. It's got a good mixture of both full-time and exchange students. Now, NUS is so big that they run their own internal bus system. I don't need to pay anything, I just hop on and start my day. This semester, I'm taking a variety of different course subjects, but as a business student, I spend most of my class time at the NUS Business School. I'm in awe every time I come here. This place is modern, it's sleek, and there's always something going on here. From hiring fairs to free stuff, I'm lucky to have this building as my faculty home. Ah, made it to class. NUS classes are pretty good. There's some great professors and cool subjects, and they usually last from three hours to two hours, and uh, they can get towering sometimes. After class, I head to the deck, or any of the many food canteens on campus. All of them have unique stalls, different cuisines, and the food is generally pretty good. You've got drinks and snacks, vegetarian, meat, fresh fruits. Everything you want is here, and it's all relatively affordable. I don't call it a good lunch unless I have it with some great people. Not only can I look at their delicious food, but lunchtime's a great time to socialize. All the friends that I've met at NUS have been awesome. They all come from different ethnicities and backgrounds, and they all carry with them their own unique story. After all my classes are done for the day, I take a bus straight to this place every time. This is my favorite spot on campus and is the hub for all things student life. This is University Town. People always talk about the infinity pool on top of the Marina Bay Sands. Well, NUS has got its own infinity pool and it's open for all students. U-Town is a great spot to study and there's always student life and activities going on here. To stay in shape, I go to the U-Town gym it's accessible for all students and has all the equipment and tools I need to get a good workout. Yeah. 
After my workout, I head over to the Mac Commons, where I finally begin to study. NUS provides some pretty powerful Macs loaded with creative software, so I edit my videos here too. Once it's dinner time, I head over to one of two U-Town food canteens, find food. This place is fully air conditioned and it is lively. There are people here all the time and there's so many different types of food that there's no way that you can leave here without eating something. After I'm done eating, I return my tray to either the halal or non-halal shelves. This place is inclusive. Nighttime in Singapore is warm, there's no sun shining on you, and it's relaxing. I take one last bus back to PGP where I'm welcomed home every time. I set my alarm clock, hop on my bed, and I close my eyes for the adventure tomorrow. Hey, it's Jensen. Yeah, I don't eat breakfast in the morning. And yeah, I don't sleep with the blanket because Singapore is so hot. If you're planning to go to NUS or you're thinking of wanting to go here, hopefully this video gave you a good overview. And if you're not going here, well, now you know what I'm up to. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about Singapore, NUS, you name it, I'll answer them. Other than that, be sure to like, subscribe, peace out.